Uh, hey, Rabbit. Uh, God's I'm tired. Uh, mm. <laughs> the hell's are you doing up this late cooking bangers and mash for? <laughs> mm. All that is for me. Damn. Didn't you say you had that long dinner shift at the Elf Song today? Mm. You're not running yourself ragged, are you? You spend all day working your ass off in the kitchen, then you come home and cook for me. Mm. Okay. If you say you're up for it, I'll believe you. Especially when that smells so God's damn good. Oh, my mouth's watering. Oh. Mm. Can I just stand here and hold you for a bit? It's like your neck was made to put my face here. Mm. So, what do I do to earn a fancy dinner at four in the morning? Oh. <laughs> yeah, shit. I guess it is my name day tomorrow, ain't it? Fuck. Always sneaks up on me. <laughs> but not on you. You remember everything. Almost uncanny sometimes. Ah, yeah, I'll get the dishes out. Want a beer? Hmm. <sighs> oh, this looks amazing. You sure you don't want any? <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Brand's pastries have me feeling stuffed after just one. I bet you'll be full up till lunch tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Rabbit. Oh, my God. Incredible. Oh, so... Did he foist one of his experiments on you again, or did you get a good pasty? Hmm. Groundhog? With carrots in it? Eh, uh, I'd eat it. Not my favourite, though. <laughs> I ate a lot of groundhogs when I was still learning to hunt. Got kind of sick of them after a while. I'll eat one if someone puts it in front of me, but I always feel kind of embarrassed. <laughs> what the hell do you mean? Now you know what to cook if you're mad at me. You'd still cook me something if I pissed you off. <laughs> well, shit, yeah. I'd eat your groundhog. With the way you cook, I'm sure it'd be ambrosial. I guess that does sound kind of dirty, huh? Now I really want to eat your groundhog. <laughs> mm. Yeah, work was uh, work. Nothing too exciting. Folks mostly behave themselves. One guy tried to leave without paying, so I dragged him back in and... Delilah made him wash dishes. Oh, and there was one arsehole I had to toss out for heckling the bard. Yeah, seriously. Who bad mouths Owen? Man can whistle like a damn songbird. Fucking mesmerizing. And then he stops and talks and it's like a spell breaking. Yeah, plus he keeps me awake when work gets slow. I guess I shouldn't complain. I didn't have to break up any fights. Oh, that weird old lady who likes to pinch my ass didn't show up, but... Gods, 
Some nights it's all I can do not to start snoring while I'm still standing up. Ah, I'll get used to the hours. I don't like that the night shift keeps me away from you, though. I'll put up with it until we get some money saved away, but... Fuck, I've been missing you. I'm just glad we both have tomorrow off. I'm so looking forward to having a good, long lie-in with you. <laughs> nah, you keep your coffee. I told you a hundred times, I don't need it when I have you. <sighs> Damn, that was good. Almost glad I ended up working so late. You want to head to bed? I can take care of the dishes. I'll be there in a minute. <clears throat> I've been looking forward to doing this all night. to show you just how much, but... God, I can barely keep my eyes open. <sighs> Fuck me. You planned more surprises. <laughs> Careful, rabbit. You're gonna spoil me rotten. What if what I want for my name day is to use you as a pillow? as if I get that every night. <laughs> it's what I want. <laughs> Quit your fretting. I didn't mean to make it sound like that's all I want. I... I appreciate you doing all this for me. I just don't know how to thank you for it. That fucking mind-blowing dinner alone would be more than enough. And now you say you've got... plans. <laughs> Nah, I like this sneaky side of you. I can tell you're excited as hell too. Even more than me, and I'm the name day boy. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just not used to people making a fuss over me. I don't feel like I deserve all this. I mean, all I'm doing is getting older. A little more grey in my hair. You don't have to treat it like anything special. <laughs> oh. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose I could let you pamper me. <sighs> You're gonna have to work hard to get me out of this bed in the morning, though. Especially with you in it. Hmm. Pancakes. Uh, I could be convinced. Maybe. Hmm. Bacon pancakes. Yeah. Now you're talking. Uh, mm. Love you. celebrated name days. I think I told you before, we weren't much for record keeping, but we did keep track of those. When I was a kid, I'd usually get a new hunting knife and a good thick cut of steak for dinner. Um, when I got older, we'd head into town and do a pub crawl. And at some point, Magda or Roland or some pretty thing from the tavern would drag me off somewhere and ring my bells. <laughs> If I'm honest, though, working nights as a bouncer's kind of soured me on taverns for a while. <laughs> and I got to wake up and kiss you breathless. And then you went and made me pancakes after. I think this is already shaping up to be the best name day I've ever had. And it ain't even noon yet. 
God, watching you get all wound up over this is precious. <laughs> it's cute how you keep being all protective of your bag. Like I might smell what you got in there for me. <laughs> Don't worry, little rabbit. I won't peek. I wouldn't want to ruin your surprise. Besides, it's too fun watching you squirm from all the suspense. <laughs> so, uh, where are we headed next? Uh, the Temple of Sunni. Won't they throw somebody like me out on sight? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Nobody's painting my nails, though. Can you imagine what I'd look like under the full moon? My claws all done up like I'm some pretty magnate with more money than sense. Kel and the others had laughed their asses off. Oh, you're fucking with me. Cal visits this place. <laughs> I guess everybody wants to feel pretty sometimes. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, uh, afternoon. Greetings, my dears. My name is Andros. How may I serve you today? Ah, yes. I believe I remember you from the other day. Let me just check my book. Yes, you're registered under Jasper and Rabbit. <laughs> so this is Jasper. My goodness, aren't you a feast for the eyes? You say that like you're going to eat me. <laughs> oh, I won't. You needn't worry. I promise I'm very professional and quite accustomed to working with captivating individuals such as yourself. You're just so very striking. I couldn't help but remark on it. Mm. And so is your rabbit, of course. Such a lovely profile. And mm. when the mood strikes, I enjoy visiting a craftsman in town who fashions these cunning little glass lenses you can wear over your irises to change their color but I dare say even she couldn't match the exact shade of yours. Looks like you have good taste after all. Ah, my dear Jasper, please. You wound me with these self-depreciative comments. Tell me, what would make you feel beautiful, even for a moment? I don't think I've ever felt beautiful a day in my life. Now, now, don't rule it out. I'm not expecting you to compose odes to yourself. I'm only asking you to keep an open mind. What will help? A mani-pedi, perhaps? Mm, no. No, thanks. <laughs> perhaps a seaweed wrap, then. You both look rather tired. You wrap people up in seaweed. Oh, yes. They are wonderful for relaxing sore muscles and increasing blood circulation. And they imbue the skin with all sorts of beneficial nutrients. I always feel like a new man after I've had one. You've wrapped yourself up in seaweed. <laughs> no, silly. Someone else did it. I always make a point to try out all of our treatments myself at least once. I know it sounds a little strange, but I promise I wouldn't recommend anything that wouldn't leave you feeling absolutely divine afterward. Don't worry. Maybe something a little less... Briny, smelling. <sighs> Not a problem. We also offer hair washing and scalp treatments, scented baths, rejuvenating facial masks, aromatherapy, and several types of massage. Uh, rabbit. Help. <laughs> Forgive me. I don't mean to overwhelm you with choices. A couple's massage sounds perfect. For those... Myself and another of our acolytes will give you the same massage at the same time, allowing you to experience it together. Mm. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Oh, it's lovely. I had one with my sweetheart a few weeks ago. We held each other's hands the whole time and chatted about every little thing under the sun. It was glorious to see the bliss on their face when someone granted me the same delight, and then, when that was done... We put on white tea-scented face masks and fed each other chocolates. Ah, <sighs> would that we could do that every day. <clears throat> but I digress. 
Might I recommend a warm soak beforehand? It will leave your muscles more relaxed, which makes for a much better massage, I found. Less soreness afterward. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do that. My parlor is right this way. Ah, <sighs> there we are. One lemon rosemary bath. Pull the cord if you need anything. I'll return in about twenty minutes. Ah, uh, thanks. Enjoy. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I'm good. Why? Ah. Oh. I don't mean to look tense. I'm having a good time, I promise. I'm just uh, not used to things being this fancy. <laughs> Ain't bad, though. Oh. I wonder what spell I used to get the water to pulse like that. Feels fantastic. <laughs> yeah, the scent does perk you up a bit, don't it? It's nice. I don't feel in too much danger of falling asleep. Although, I kind of half expect Bran to charge in here and start throwing onions and carrots at us. <laughs> oh, you'd be delicious. Rabbit's excellent in soup. Oh no, not me. Too gamey. Yeah, maybe I do just need a little tenderizing. If this massage thing is as good as Andros says it is, it might do the trick. Oh, okay. Let's get off the subject of food. I'm actually getting kind of hungry. <laughs> um. Thank you for this. It's been a while since we shared a bath. I forgot how much I missed it. Hmm. All this is kind of a nice contrast to a couple days ago. It was good to be running under the moon again, though. Cal's pack were a good lot. Oh, I didn't tell you how that went. Fuck, I'm sorry, Rabbit. I meant to bring it up, I must have forgot. We've both just been so busy. <sighs> yeah, good point. I can just tell you now. Um, we brought down this goddamn enormous buck. I ate the whole thing too, split between the five of us. I even dozed off for a bit. I didn't expect that to happen, but it did. I guess the trust was there. Then we... Changed back, washed off in the river, and found our clothes. They headed back to the Elf Song, and I came home to you. Hmm. It felt good. I never thought I'd hunt in a pack again. The dynamics are a little different. They are boisterous, and they all know one another pretty well. But they didn't make me feel wrong-footed or like uh, some kind of interloper. It was easy to figure out where I fit with them, and we all shared in the joy of the kill. Yeah, I think Kel was just being cautious when we first met. They don't seem too prickly about us now, especially since you got your little tattoo removal coming up. They don't feel like brothers or anything yet, but they're good folk. Running with them did make me miss my family a bit. But I think they'd want this for me. I think they'd be proud of where I've ended up. I love you too, Rabbit. So much. Hello, my dears. How are we feeling? Uh, Pretty great, actually. Hmm. We have the table set up for you. 
whenever you're ready for your massage. Farewell, darlings. Suni's blessings upon you. Visit again any time. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Jasper. Don't worry. I get that all the time. Sweet Suni, I'm exhausted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, Rabbit. Say that again. I'm feeling kind of... Mm, is there a good kind of woozy? I've got that. All wrung out. I don't know, my head's floating. Talking's hard. Oh no, I feel pretty amazing. I'm really good at getting those knots up, huh? I had some in places I didn't know existed. I can see why people go back there so often. Oh, and you. You were fucking glowing after they were done with you. Knocked the breath out of me. Hmm. Let's just say I might have got us in trouble if they'd left us some privacy. <laughs> I think maybe that's why they stuck around. To keep us from getting up to anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fine. I feel pretty, too. That was something special. And I guess I'm bound to look slightly more alluring when my posture's better and I'm not walking around hunched over like a crab with lumbago all the damn time. Yeah, just don't tell that tiefling. <laughs> Normally I'd say let's go home and have a nap. I always fall asleep after your massages, but... After that one, I feel kind of energized, like I want to go on a walk or something. Yeah. What do you think? Let's go find our own little patch of woodland somewhere. Hmm. So, what is it you have for me in your bag of tricks, then? You've been waiting all day to spring this on me, haven't you? I love you, but that is a fucking ugly shirt. Oh, <laughs> oh thank all the gods I don't gotta wear that thing. What's it for then? Uh, what are you doing putting that on instead of your other shirt? I... Oh. Hmm. You bought that just so I could rip it off you. <laughs> All right then, little rabbit. I'll give you a ten second head start. You better make the most of it. Run. 